Hi everybody, all right, so I'm here with a massive empties because I've been collecting trash for like the last year of my life. Um, because I wanted to show you guys and I am so ready to throw it away. Hi. <laughs> all right, so I know oh, this might be split up into two videos or it might be like one super long video. We shall see. Um, so I have makeup to show you first um, and then we'll move into like skincare, hair care, and then like cleaning products. <laughs> so first things I've used up were a couple foundations. The first one is the Too Faced Born This Way in the color Warm Nude. I love this. Um, would I repurchase? Probably, yeah, but, but I have like so many other foundations I need to use up before. Next thing I used up was another foundation. This is the NARS Sheer Glow in the color DeVille. DeVille. Um, I really like this, uh, but I wouldn't repurchase. I don't think NARS is cruelty free anymore, so boohoo. But I did like it. Some other like tried and true, like, <laughs> okay. These, these are from Senegens, the brand that makes lip scents. Um, these are the Make Scents. Color correcting to tinted moisturizer. Yeah, like a brain fart there. Um, I used up two of these. One was in the shade medium and the other was light. I can pretty much wear both of these. They did finally just release a deep tone, which thankfully <laughs> suits some more colors. So there's only three colors, which is like a downfall. And like the packaging is kind of plain, but the product inside is amazeballs. <laughs> like I use this almost every single day. I'm working on my third one right now which is in my purse. It's what I put on my face every single day. Well, when I'm wearing makeup, like there's a lot of times I don't put on makeup like when I'm just staying home, unless I'm doing like a video where I put on eyeshadow and I, these things, eyelashes and lipstick. So this is a staple, a must have. Everybody that I've had purchase it from me or who have, or I had try it, fell in love. Like it's really good it gives you like the perfect amount of coverage for every day and it feels like a luxurious cream going on it's just it's very lovely okay um next things i used up were a couple concealers this is the nars radiant creamy concealer i was in the shade vanilla i used this up despite absolutely hating this people rave about this like that it's so good but under my eyes it just made my under eyes look old and creepy <laughs> and dry and gross. Was there a pink Power Ranger behind me? Oh, <laughs> I did not like this, but I spent a lot of money on it. And so I don't know why I just didn't return it. So I decided to just use it up, even though I did not like it very much. It works for some people. It's like some people's holy grail. So that's awesome. But it did not work for me. This next one, the writing is totally worn off. It's the Wet n Wild Concealing pin, highlighting concealing pin. I can barely see any of it. Um, this is in the shade Ivory Into You. <laughs> um, this was really good for a drugstore price. Uh, it's like really dry, there's like nothing left. <laughs> this is really good for a drugstore price. I really liked it. It was really like highlighting and brightening underneath the eyes. I would repurchase, but I, I love like the tart tape shape. I, I'm i just about out of one of those and I have a backup. So I don't need to buy concealer anytime soon either. But if I was in a pinch and lost all my makeup and I needed an affordable concealer, I'd go get this. <laughs> all right, I used up a couple eyeliners. The first is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? So this is the tattoo liner. I really like this. This is just like a sample size or like it was like a free gift or something. Um, I really like this. However, I have discovered the Stila All Stay All Day waterproof eyeliner. I don't know what it's called. What is it? The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is my holy grail now. This is the only liquid liner I use. So although I did really like this, um, I wouldn't repurchase because I think the Stila one is like a billion times better. Okay, next eyeliner. This was the NARS. I don't even know what it was called because once again, it was all worn off. Long wear eyeliner. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, color black. It worked well. I think it stayed on the waterline well, but 
um, I used it up and it's not like, it's not anything life changing. So no, I wouldn't repurchase. Um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner. Now I actually didn't get a chance to use this fully up because it dried up, but this is in the color Deviant. Um, oh, well, there's a little color. Maybe I can just like sharpen it and really reuse it. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> I do really like the Urban Decay eyeliners. I But for the price point, I feel like they're a little expensive for what they are. Hey, Bear, can you go over there? <laughs> go eat in your room so you're not just chewing on camera. <laughs> but I feel for like the price point, I can get like a NYX eyeliner for like the same quality at like a way cheaper price. So if I need new pencil eyeliners, I'll probably just go with NYX. Unless if Urban Decay had a really cool color. Like, well, I think there's like an orange one that recently came out that I think I really need. <laughs> Next, um, I used up an eyebrow pencil. This is from It Cosmetics. It's the Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. This was in the shade Universal Taupe. When I first got this, I didn't think like it was anything extraordinary, but then I put it in my makeup bag and then I started using it like daily and I really fell in love with it. I think it's a really great eyebrow pencil. I have like probably like four Anastasia ones I need to use up before I repurchase a pencil, but if I needed to, I would repurchase this. I thought it was really good. Next two things are mascara. Um, the first one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This was just a deluxe size sample. I love getting free stuff from Sephora. I like deluxe size stuff. It just, it's so convenient. <laughs> um, this used to be my holy grail. I really liked it. Um, but I have since discovered a new lover. So no, I wouldn't repurchase. My new favorite, holy grail, is the Stila Huge Mascara. It is very much like the Better Than Sex. It has that same kind of curvy hourglass wand, but it's so much better. Like it doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. It's just, it's, it's good stuff. I have like two big size bottles, one in my purse and one in my makeup area. I'm obsessed. All right, um, last two makeup products. I used up the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is like holy grail, really good. Um, but I have a bunch of Scandinavia. I have like an Ofra setting spray and some Elf setting sprays. Like I feel like setting sprays are everywhere now. You can get like such a good deal. Like the Elf one is, I think, really good. And then last is this Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I was in the color Light Beige. Um, I really liked this when this first came out years ago, um, but since I've since moved on, <laughs> so I wouldn't repurchase. All right, I used up a couple, um, what are these called? <laughs> Perfumes? I wish. This was my favorite, absolute favorite. This is like my signature scent. This is like, when I wear this, my daughter's like, oh, you smell like my old mom. Like, I just smell like mom, because <laughs> this is how moms smell, apparently. Um, this is the Clean brand fragrances, and this is the Clean Skin. Beautiful packaging. It's like a little ombre. This. Oh my gosh, I don't even. I don't even know. It just smells good. <laughs> it just smells really good. It's clean and fresh, but not overpowering. And then there's like a little bit of sweetness. Love it. It's so good. And then I used up another one of the Clean fragrances. This is uh, the Clean Summer Escape one. This is like that, just very clean and fresh and delicious, but it has a little bit of like a, a watery, like, um, what is that called? Clean waters? Uh, whatever, blue waters or <laughs> something. It just smells fresh. I'm not good at scent notes, so I probably would have, I'm probably going to put like an overlay when I was like trying to sniff it and tell you what's going on because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, moving to skin care. This is the most sad empty ever because I had to repurchase it because I absolutely love it and it's like $100. This is the <laughs> Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Comes in this pretty little blue bottle. It has blue oil inside. Um, it has retinol, but it's infused with blue tansy, so it's like really nourishing. It doesn't dry your skin out. Um, I've had no adverse reactions to this. It's amazing. So if you want to start off on a retinal treatment, you know, to help prevent the aging process and things like that, this is amazing. Yes, it is super pricey, but yes, it is so worth it. Like, and this will last you a long time. Like I would use probably like five to six drops every night and this lasted me forever. So 
I've already repurchased this because I couldn't go without. So yes, I would definitely repurchase. I think it's worth the $105 that it is. I used up the Pharmacy Skin Dew. It's a hydrating essence mist and setting spray. I really like this. I don't know if it really did anything amazing, but it smelled really good and felt really good on the skin when you sprayed it. So I might possibly purchase it in the future. <laughs> Most of these are like all sample size. <laughs> I love samples. Um, but two full size things. This is the Josie Moran. There's like dog hair all over it. My dog is like a fluffy beast. This is the Josie Moran Argan Cleansing Oil. Whew, that's a mouthful. Um, this works. I do like it. If you accidentally get in your mouth, it tastes disgusting. But it's really thick. And I really don't prefer like a thick cleansing oil. I like a really kind of thin more dry oil consistency. So I went and repurchased this. The one I use is uh, from One Love Organics, and it's the Elizabeth, it's the vitamin B cleansing oil. I'll put a picture of it because I can't, I can't think of the name, but that is fabulous. Pricey, but worth it. Next thing I used up is this acne treatment. This is from Paula's Choice. It's the clear daily skin clearing treatment of 5% benzoyl peroxide. This is the only thing that works for me to get rid of pimples. <laughs> I swear, this is the only thing that has ever worked for me. So I've already repurchased. Um, I just got a small size because I don't need this like big old size anymore. Um, just for like the occasional breakouts. And it's magical. Is there a baby? Baby! Hi! Oh no! There he is! Hi! Show him. I know. Oh, baby. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Was it so scary? Mommy wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you. How are you? Is there so much stuff to mess with? There sure is. All right, so we're just gonna continue on. <laughs> just for a little bit, we'll see if it works. Um, next thing I use is the Belief Truth Cream Aqua Bomb. I really love this. However, the, let me grab it. The Tarte Drink of H2O is essentially like the same thing and I like this better and I think it's more a better deal, I think, um, works really good. So as much as I like that little sample size, I would stick with the tart. And these are were just some little samples I got from Sephora. It's the Bobbi Brown Intense Long Wear Makeup Remover. I mean, it, it worked. Um, didn't blow me out of the water. And then the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I did like this. I didn't think it was good. I was curious to see what all the hype was. Um, but I wouldn't repurchase Bobbi Brown. It's not cruelty free. But if I get something for free as a free sample, I'm totally gonna use it. Why are you so noisy? All right, a couple of hair care things. Like I had, I had saved up so many of these things. Like why did I keep saving them? But like I literally had probably ten of each of these. <laughs> um, this is the Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner. This is my favorite conditioner. Um, I get it off of Vitacost. It's like five dollars. It's really affordable. And it's silicone free, so it like really hydrates your hair without weighing it down and leaving like a residue. Love it. And then the shampoo I use is the Desert Essence Island of Mango Shampoo. It smells like mangoes. It's amazing. It doesn't dry my hair out. These are my hair products that I've used for the last, I don't know, five years. And they work and I love them. And I love that they're so affordable too. Another hair product, this is Overtone. I had my hair dyed blonde last summer and I used this. This is the, I think it was the fuchsia color. Uh, vibrant pink, that's what it's called. Um, this was the Overtone Vibrant Pink Weekly Treatment. It dyed my hair pink. It was beautiful, it was easy to use, um, and I really like it. If my hair ever gets lighter, which I might like lighten it up, I would totally buy some more of the Overtone products because they are so awesome. They're really easy to use if you want fun color hair or if you want to keep up maintenance on fun color hair. All right, um, I used up this Hemp's Goji Orange Lemonade. Um, this is body lotion. 
Like there's like this little stinking little bit I can't get out. I love this. I love the Hem Body Lotion. I have another one. I'm using it right now. I buy it at TJ Maxx because I'm not going to pay $25 for a lotion. That's that's absurd. <laughs> so I buy it at TJ Maxx. Another lotion I really love. It is kind of spendy and worth the splurge though is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. This was in the scent Be Joyful, which is vanilla apricot. It smells amazing. It was lovely. I really like the body butter and I would totally repurchase it again. Body washes. I've used up numerous of these of the Ulta Beauty body washes. I bought like a crap ton of these because we were having like a girls night party where everybody brought like their favorite things. So I gave everybody a shower gel and a beer for a shower beer. <laughs> if you haven't had shower beer, oh my gosh, you're missing out. It's just where you drink an ice cold beer in the shower and it's amazing. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> Um, but so I had a bunch left over because some people who RSVP didn't show up. So, you know, that's okay because I used body wash. So I ended up using them. There was a ton of scents. This one was Warm Glow. I think they're all very good. They all smell very nice. And then the Deep Sea, Deep Steep Passion Fruit Guava Argan Oil Body Wash. Once again, I get this at TJ Maxx or off of Vitacost. And it's a really good body wash I'd repurchase. Um, something that my kids used up um, and then if I just had like I was in a pinch and ran out of body wash I would use it too. Um, it's the Honest Shampoo Body Wash. This is the two-in-one hydrating and nourishing cleanser and the scent Sweet Orange Vanilla. We like these obviously we've gone to, through two of them so yes we would repurchase. Um, something I hated. <laughs> Actually two things I hated. So. <laughs> My daughter has very fine curly hair and it's a nightmare to brush. So I bought a couple of these detangler sprays. This is the Coconut Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler from Shea Moisture. Terrible. Did not do a thing. Just it, I almost made it worse to brush her hair. And then this one was from the Honest Company. It's a tiny little bottle. I feel like it was kind of pricey. Um, Honest Conditioning Detangler. I don't think it worked. It was no good. I didn't like it. <laughs> a couple more body washes. This is the Soap and Glory Rich and Fomus. Um, I did like this, but it smells like oatmeal, and that just smells kind of weird to me. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, like, I like brown sugar kind of scents, but like, this was like straight up like oatmeal, maple syrup kind of thing. Um, next thing was a little Snow Fairy from Lush. I love this. I have a couple little backups that I bought during Christmas. So yes, I would repurchase. It's only available during Christmas time. Um, for hair gel, I use this LA Natural from Giovanni. I get this off of Vitacost. It works well for hair gel and I like it. Um, this is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Treatment Plus Keratin. These are so expensive for what they are. They do work. Like they work well on like my, my daughter's hair, but the thing is they are so highly perfumed that like it's it's almost like it's too much. Like it's so powerful. Like if you have sensitive nostrils like me and you don't like very floral, pungent smells, like very intense smells, you might not like this. However, if you're a floral lover and you like very strong scents, then you'd probably love this because your hair would smell super florally and super intense. <laughs> but it works good. I mean, last couple things are cleaning products. <laughs> Why did I need to save them all? I don't know. I used up quite a few of the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Spray. The first one was in the Peony scent. This is a springtime scent. It smells really good. Next one is the Lilac scent. This is also a um, limited edition springtime scent. It smells really good like lilacs. This one was from Christmas. <laughs> Um, if when Christmas comes around and this comes out, I would get it. It's peppermint scent. I really like cleaning with like minty smelling stuff. It's, it just feels very clean when you clean. And then I used up the Caldrea Hair Blossom Agave Countertop Spray. This was another thing that I really liked. However, this scent in particular was very strong for me and I'm prone to migraines and things like that. So. I really loved it. I did repurchase it and I gave it to a friend of mine because she used this at my house and she was like, oh my gosh, I need this at my house so I can clean. I'm like, here you go, take the bottle. So it works really well. And I do like the orange blossom scent. I, 
some of their other scents I do like. This one was just a little bit strong for me. I used up the Method Wood for Good Daily Clean. I like to use this for my wood. <laughs> um, this is a wood cleaner, so if you have wood furniture, it works really good. Yes, I'd repurchase. And last but not least for a couple Mrs. Meyers dish soaps. I love these. Um, you can get them at Target or off of Growth Collaboratives. Um, they just have really, f I like the packaging, the aesthetic of them, and I like the scents. This one was Iowa Pine. This was from Christmas time. And this one is the Peony Scent Springtime Scent Edition. They just came out with a pumpkin one. I totally bought it. So I can't wait to do like a fall clean with me with that pumpkin spray. Ugh. I'm so excited. This smells like legit like pumpkin muffins. That's amazing. So, um, so yes, I've repurchased the Mrs. Meyer stuff. I really like it. <laughs> so, Alright, so that was my massive empties. I can finally throw away all this crap. I'm so ready to get rid of it. It's been just sitting in like my room here in a huge box and I'm, I'm done. It's going in the trash today. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I heart you guys all. <laughs> Bye everybody.